Hello everyone, my name is Andiola Isaiah. Today, I'll be sharing with you what God told me and we'll be praying together as well. While I was praying, I was asking the Lord, Lord, where are the end times? What is happening? When are you coming, Lord? And the Lord told me, I heard a voice in my spirit. He said, there's going to be mass terrorism. Mass terrorism. Okay, it is going to be of an increase, increased intensity than the way I've experienced before. It is going to increase in intensity. I don't know which state you are watching me from, but I pray that the law that is able to keep his own will keep you through these trying times in the mighty name of Jesus. Now is the time to be serious with your Christian life. Don't go out without praying, without meditating on the word of God. You can say, yesterday I went out without praying, what happened to me, nothing happened to me. But it is important to always pray because the Lord kept you. Yesterday that you went out, nothing happened. He was the one that kept you. And he's saying this moment, always pray. Hallelujah. There are three verses you need to meditate on. There are so many verses about God's protection. But I just love these three verses. Okay. And in the comment section, you can post other verses about protection. That would be very good. The first verse is Deuteronomy 31.6. It says, Be strong and courageous. Do not be afraid or terrified because of them. For the Lord your God goes with you. He will never leave you nor forsake you. The Lord is saying to you that he will never leave you nor forsake you. If you're having any fear, any anxiety now, hear the word of the Lord. The Lord is saying that he will never leave you nor forsake you. Now, I know the anxiety level has risen now among many people than it has been before. Maybe because we are in the end times, the world is almost coming to an end. Now, everyone is complaining about panic attacks and anxiety. Now, this is what the Lord is saying. He said, do not be afraid. I don't know what you're going through. The Lord is saying you should not be afraid. Although there is mass terrorism coming now, but I'm telling you that God will protect his own. He will protect you. He will, he will, he will protect you from every evil eye. Hallelujah. He said, be, not, be, be, be strong and courageous. Do not be afraid or terrified. Hallelujah. The second verse is Isaiah chapter 41 verse 10. So do not fear why I am with you. Do not be dismayed for I am, I am your God. I will strengthen you and help you. I will uphold you with my righteous right hand. Hallelujah. He said he will strengthen you. Who needs strengthening? Someone that is weak and not so strong. But you might say, oh God, I don't have much faith. I don't have much strength. I don't have much confidence. The Lord is saying here that he will strengthen you. Hallelujah. He will strengthen you because he knows that your strength is not enough. He will uphold you because he knows that you are almost falling and you need to be to be to be held up high. You need to be held. Hallelujah. I will uphold you with my righteous right hand. Glory to God. Speaking about mass terrorism, there is this verse that I love so much. 1 John 4:4. 4, 4, it says, Greater is he that is in me, than he that is in the world. Hallelujah. I believe that the person living in me, the Holy Ghost, is greater than the devil that is in the world. I know we have terrorism everywhere. I don't want to mention countries now, but I live in Nigeria and we, we Christians, we face persecution almost every day, especially our Christians up north. Okay, it's something that the government is working on and everyone is against it. But these things happen. They happen. Okay. And the moment you say, greater is he that is in me that, than he that is in the world, there is a level of peace and confidence that comes into your heart. He said, he is not going to take you out of the world, but he will give you the courage. He will give you the strength. He will give you the power to overcome everything you are facing. That is what we have just read here today. He said, be not, don't be afraid. Be strong and courageous. Okay. Not that he's going to take you out of the trouble. 
he will take us out of the trouble later on. But now, we have to face the reality of what is happening. Here, 1 John chapter 4, verse 4, he says, Greater is he that is in you. Hope you know the person inside of you is greater than anything you can ever come across. Any terrorist, any disaster. I was watching a documentary. There has been so many disasters right from 1st of January to, to now in February. It has been so much. I don't think it has ever happened before. I don't know, but this is the first time I will be seeing something, a disaster, natural disaster that happened consistently, consecutively. There are a lot of disasters, snowfall, earthquake, uh, 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 some land deformations, uh, weather conditions and all that. So it has never, I don't think it has ever happened before within a very short period of time. This is 2022. But God is saying, greater is he that is in you. You don't have to be afraid. Now, I won't just come here and say and give out a prophecy and say the Lord says it's going to be mass terrorism. Without praying with you, Father, I pray that whosoever that is watching this video and whosoever will watch, Father, let your peace radiate in their hearts. Let your courage increase, O oh Lord. Let their courage increase, O oh Lord. Encourage them in the mighty name of Jesus. Let your peace radiate in their heart. Let them be strong. You said we should be strong and courageous. Oh Lord, is there anyone weak here that is afraid, that is having anxiety? Oh Lord, my Father, let that spirit be taken away in the mighty name of Jesus. I pray for the protection of God over your life, over your family. I cover you with the blood of Jesus. I surround your house with the fire of the Holy Spirit. I surround you with angels because it is written, it shall give his angels charge over you. To keep you in all your ways. Father, Lord, I pray, let them be protected in the mighty name of Jesus. Is there every evil eye that is looking at them? Because that was what just came into my spirit now. I don't know who was this video. This is not a live video, but every evil eye that is looking at anyone watching this video, monitoring you, I remove those eyes in the mighty name of Jesus. I remove them in the mighty name of Jesus. Now, there is this chapter that the Lord placed in my heart when I was trying to recall this video. We all know the chapter, Psalm 91. I'm going to take us through this chapter while we pray. Okay. Psalm 91, it says, it says that, He that dwelleth in the secret place of the Most High shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty. It says, He that dwelleth in the secret place. Is the same person that will abide under his shadow so there is a necessity for the consistent dwelling for consistent dwelling in the presence of god there is a necessity for consistent obedience in the presence of god a lot of people wonder how anxieties worries panic attacks all forms of trouble come into their life they believe they haven't done anything wrong but the matter could just be that you have not been dwelling in the presence of God enough. He says, it's he that dwelleth in the secret place of the Most High that will abide. Although you are a Christian, but you haven't prayed now for three days. You haven't prayed for a week. You haven't communicated with God for more than 10, 20 minutes in, in that week. And you want, are you wondering why some things come and crawl back into your life? The Bible is saying here that he that dwells. It is the same person that will abide under the shadow of the Almighty. Now, hear what the Lord said three days ago to me, about two days ago. He said, there is a danger in not abiding consistently, consistently in the presence of God. There is a danger in not fellowshipping consistently with God. Now, let me tell you this. It is something you already know. When the devil wants to attack a believer and... He knows the believer is a prayer warrior. He always prays. Okay. And he can't attack that believer. What does he do? He will take that believer away from prayers. He will make that believer lukewarm. Then he will try to strike again. Because he understands this principle that is, is anyone that dwells in the secret place of God or of the Most High that will abide under the shadow of God. 
and will abide under the shadow of the Almighty God. So the moment you stop praying, you stop studying the word, you stop having this desire to know more about God, then a lot of things begin to come into your life. I pray, Father, that whosoever that is willing to rekindle the fire of their prayer altar, Father, let them receive grace in the mighty name of Jesus. I pray that the Lord will take you from one level to another in the ministry of prayer and the word in the mighty name of Jesus. Receive the grace. Receive the grace to dwell in the secret place of the Most High God. Hallelujah. Verse 2. I will say of the Lord is my refuge and my fortress. My God in him will I trust. Surely shall deliver me from the snare of the fowler and from the noisome pestilence. Do you see that confidence? It says, surely he shall deliver me. Why? Because he has been dwelling in the presence of God. There is a level of confidence you have when you keep dwelling in his presence. When you keep praying. When you keep studying the word. Hallelujah. If you have found someone who is always scared, always afraid, it is because that person hasn't been dwelling well in the presence of God. When you dwell with God, he rubs off confidence, peace on you. When you keep meditating on the word of God, you will know that he is saying, be courageous, be strong, my son, my daughter. He is saying that to you now. May the Lord give you grace in the mighty name of Jesus. He shall cover thee with his feathers, and under his wings shall thou trust. His truth shall be thy shield and buckler. Thou shalt not be afraid for the terror by night, nor for the arrow that flies by day. He's saying that there are terrors by night and arrows flying by day, day and night. When should a Christian believer pray? Day and night. So if you want to escape the terror by night and the arrow that flies by day, just keep praying because evil is everywhere every time. Hallelujah. Don't just say because there is a prophecy about mass terrorism or terrorism, terrorism anywhere and you would say oh terrorism has always been happening is always is is common everywhere i don't see why, how this is important for us to be careful it is very important because when the bible talks about end time happenings it is going to increase in frequency in intensity that is why we need to be very very careful not for the pestilence that walketh in darkness nor for the destruction that wasted at Noon day, a thousand shall fall at thy side, and ten thousand at thy right hand, but it shall not come near thee. So God is saying here that a thousand will fall at your side. Before when I used to read this verse, I used to think, oh, the thousands the Bible is talking about is maybe demons or evil spirits. But I got to realize that they are not demons. They are people just like you. So a thousand shall fall at your side. People can die here, die there, pestilence plagues, diseases, sicknesses. But the Bible is saying here that but it shall not come near you. I pray that whatever that is happening around you, every sickness, every disease shall not come near you. Every terrorist attack shall not come near you. Every natural disaster shall not come near you. And if you've been in a country where you have been experiencing some natural disaster. I am with you in my prayers. May the Lord keep you. Okay, please, you can go to the comment section and just comment about what is happening in your country. God bless you. Hallelujah. Verse 8. Only with thy eyes shall thou behold and see the reward of the wicked. He said you shall only see what is happening, but it shall not come near you. Hallelujah. This is good. Now, because thou hast made the Lord, which is my refuge, even the most high thy habitation. Now we are talking about consistent dwelling with God. Because you have made the the uh the Lord, which is my refuge, even the most high thy habitation. Have you made the Lord your habitation? Have you made him yet? Maybe God is someone you just see as okay. I need something, I think I need to pray. I need this healing, I think I need to pray. No. God is someone you need to communicate with every day. He's your father. He's someone you need to speak to every day. Hallelujah. Verse 10. There shall no evil befall thee, neither shall any play come near thy dwelling. I pray, Father, that as many as are watching this video and you are sick, 
just place your hand there right now father in the mighty name of jesus i remove that spirit in the mighty name of jesus i'm having something in my spirit you are laying your hand in, on your stomach okay i don't know when you're going to come across this video but what whenever you come across this video i remove that pain in the mighty name of jesus be free in the name of jesus be free in the name of jesus for it pleases the lord to heal you right now be healed in the mighty name of jesus amen the bible says here in verse 11 for it shall give his angels charge over thee to keep thee in all thy ways now this is the ministry of angels the lord said he has given you angels to keep you in all your ways so you don't have to worry the moment you are abiding in the secret place of the most high because it's going to give you angels to protect you hallelujah maybe you're sleeping maybe you're walking maybe you're driving just believe that the lord has placed angels to watch over you and they will always keep you hallelujah so whatever prophecy you may have this is coming this is coming don't be scared a lot of people watch videos online on uh on youtube online read a lot of articles and get scared about what is coming but you don't have to be scared if you're standing well in christ hallelujah he says they shall bear thee up in their hands let's that dash your foot against the stone okay verse 13 thou shalt tread upon the lion and adder the young lion and the dragon shall thou trample on the feet i want you to know that god has given you the victory luke 10 19 says Behold, I give unto you power to trample upon serpents and scorpions, and over all the powers of the enemy, and nothing shall by any means hurt you. The Lord has given you the victory. I want you to step into that victory and begin to use it against the kingdom of darkness. Because we are not fighting for victory now, we are fighting because we have been victorious. Hallelujah. It says here in 14, because he has set his love upon me, therefore will I deliver him. I will set him on high because he had known my name. 15, he shall call upon me and I will answer him. I will be with him in trouble. I will deliver him and honor him. With long life will I satisfy him and show him my salvation. The Lord is saying he will satisfy you with long life. Is there anyone here you are afraid because you have been threatened by darkness that you are going to die? The Lord is saying here that he has satisfied you with long life. Receive confidence in the Lord in the mighty name of Jesus. Father, I pray for your people. As they have received this word, O Lord, let your name be glorified in the mighty name of Jesus and let them begin to walk in victory. Hallelujah. Let them begin to walk in victory, in power, in the mighty name of Jesus. Father, is there anyone here who maybe have gone out of you, have gone out of the salvation you have prepared for that person. Father, let that person come back to you in the mighty name of Jesus. Let a way be open to bring that person out of sin, out of confusion in the mighty name of Jesus. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. Hallelujah. If you have been blessed, kindly subscribe to my channel. God bless you. You.